Hi, I'm Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd try something different. In the UK we don't have KFC chicken bowls, so I thought I'd try and recreate it. So I've got the potatoes boiling, I've just cooked the chicken in the air fryer, and now I'm going to make the gravy. Um, I'm not doing as much as the recipe says because it's only for me and hubby. So I've got 40 grams of butter that I've melted. I'm going to add two and a half taste tablespoons of flour. I'm just going to mix that like a roux. I'm I've got 600 grams of chicken stock that I made and froze, so I've just defrosted that. Paste. A bit more liquid to get it to a nice paste, and all the flowers lumps are gone. Right, once your gravy's coming to a boil, I'm going to add in a quarter teaspoon of no, I'm not, it's all stuck of uh, garlic powder oh. salt and pepper to taste I ain't gonna add salt because I know my stock's already got it in and a quarter teaspoon of sage that then until it thickens. I'm going to add two teaspoons of brown sugar. I'm just going to whisk. Oh, that's thickening nicely. Right. Potatoes are almost cooked. The chicken's finished cooking now. So I will show you what it's like, what, how we do the mash in a minute. Right, I've drained off my potatoes. I only use two large potatoes because it's only me and Mark eating it. But um, the recipe did call for like eight, I think it was about eight potatoes. And then I'm just going to dump in a, a good dollop of um, cream cheese. And it requires half and half, which is milk and cream. So I put milk and cream together. I done 40 100 mils of milk, 100 mils of cream, but I'm not going to be using it all. So I only used half of what I had for my potatoes, but apparently this is the best way to do mashed potatoes, so I'll give it a go. Right, now it's time to assemble. Right, now to assemble. I've got some frozen corn that I've used and I've just heated that up in the microwave. So you're going to start off with your mashed potatoes, put them in the bottom of the bowl. It's only me that's having corn. Just 
sprinkle some of that on top. And then we're going to add our chicken. I've got to say, I'm really looking forward to this because all of it just smells so good. Just move all that up, fill the bowls. Right, then we're going to add the good stuff, the gravy. I'm going to be clever and I'm going to pour that into a jug before I attempt to pull that out. Okay. Oh, that gravy smells so good. And then we're just going to pour that over the top, like so. I feel this might be my new favourite go-to as a cheap takeaway. And then up to you, but just add a bit of cheese on top. Picture perfect, even if I say so myself. Right, we'll wait a sec, let that cool down, and then we'll do a taste test. Right, the best part. Mm. That is really, really nice. Obviously, I don't know, I can't compare it to anything because I've not actually tried one of these before. But if it tastes anything like this, brilliant. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye.